Killing eyewitness account from an eight year old boy. My father shot my mother. The dad was arrested today for killing a woman and her young daughter. News Channel East Peter Bernard is in the Royal Lakes neighborhood tonight. And Peter, it sounds like that boy is lucky to be alive tonight. He is. He's going to have some recovery to go through. Tonight, this family home is a burned out shell. Tonight, two people are dead a mother and her daughter, and that boy is recovering. A neighbor's cell phone captured the mayhem on Pine Lake Drive in Riverview. Sit down! Hey, Sit down! They just tased him. Responding to two 911 calls, one from a woman with a man shouting Allah Akbar in the background, and a second from who we believe is Ronnie O'Neill. He tells the dispatcher, I've just been attacked by some white demons. Her name is KK, and she tried to kill me, and I just killed her. Deputies arrived to find Kenyatta Barron dying in a neighbor's driveway. As EMS workers tried to save her, they noticed the house next door is on fire and Ronnie O'Neill walking out of the garage. They say O'Neill refused orders to stop and yelling, Allah Akbar, so they tased him. Next, his son, also named Ronnie O'Neill, emerged from the home burned and with stab wounds. Fire rescue searched the home and found a young girl dead of multiple stab wounds. Cops booked Ronnie Sr. for murder, arson, and attempted murder. Neighbors are stunned. Especially someone who seems so nice to just turn out that way and like in an instant like that, just snap. It's pretty sad, I want to say, because, you know, there's a child involved. The home is gutted. Piles of charred belongings are in the backyard. And there appears to be quite a lot of evidence in this case. Detectives tell us Ronnie Sr. had blood on his clothes and on his shoes, and he also had burn injuries. They also tell us a canine went inside and detected accelerants, and they say they also found a gas can in a bedroom. Keith? Wow, just awful. So much violence. Thank you. Peter Bernard, live for us tonight.